sequence is determined, and it gives you a long string of basically an order of operations question. Identifying the operations should be the first thing we really focus on. We have a subtraction, we have a multiplication, we have another subtraction, and we have another multiplication. So really we have a string of four operations in one expression. How do we simplify it? Well, the first thing we have to do is look for our multiplications. In this case, we have one right here. So negative 8 take away the product of negative 6 and 3, which is negative 18. Notice how I'm keeping it in brackets so that this subtraction sign and this negative sign don't end up being the same thing. They're actually separate things. Take away 5 times negative 3. I'll keep that as one step. I'll just do that separately. So the next thing I do is negative 8 times negative 18. Now, remembering that this is subtraction, this is really my multiplication here. and I'll just kind of block it up. That's a positive 5, not a negative 5. It's a positive 5 because this is subtraction. So 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So subtract negative 15. We really have to kind of get used to being able to differentiate between a subtraction symbol and a negative symbol. Now I have just two subtractions left, one here and one here. So I change that to addition to reverse it. I now have 18 positives and 8 negatives. What do I have more? Positives. How many more? 10. Take away negative 15. I now change that to addition, or addition and that to its opposite. 10 plus 15 is 25. So the answer to question 31 is uh, positive 25.